abuser died 17 years after the first sexual abuse. And here I am, launching my foundation 29 years after my sexual abuse. To every victim out there, growing up as a child with my mom and my stepfather was uneventful. I was never shown love, kindness, or attention. I became a woman before I had the opportunity to become a girl. For every shame, pain, and bitterness I have experienced so far in my life, I still find myself getting stronger because I, can have, I can't afford to be useless. Don't let your perpetrators damage you mentally and never allow anyone take your confidence away from you. I have laws that are really, really guiding for the girl child, for the boy child. And apart from that kind of law, we should also have laws. I think sometimes people have been wrongly accused of rape. So most times when people hear rape, maybe you are touched. People don't even know the difference between assault, molestation, and rape. So once people just hear rape, 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 so the fact that there are no judgment for rape cases, it weakens people. So people just don't want to even hear about it. Then, then the family too should do more to make sure that those who are rape victims are not stigmatized. So when there's no stigmatization, people will be confident to like come out and report cases of rape because our laws are very weak. Um, it is rare for you to see any case being seen to the end, especially when it comes to rape cases and that of harassment. So I'd like to implore the government to do more um, asking the National Assembly to enact new laws will be probably chasing shadows. But we have laws enough to deal decisively with perpetrators and this kind of animalistic behavior. It, there, is, there is no way a country should condone such a behavior. It takes a possessed human being. I mean, what could attract a grown-up man to a 13 year old girl. It takes an atlas man that needs the government to, to actually deal with. So the reason why I'm coming out right now is because now I'm old enough. And let me say, when he died, okay, fine. When he died 12 years ago, when I was 30, I felt, okay, I cannot revenge again. He's actually gone. Who do I fight? I have my mom, my younger siblings from him that I love so much with my life. So who do I fight?